Yeah, all right guys, so we have a uh, gas boiler furnace here and a uh, indirect water heater that uh, heats the house here, baseboard heating. Um, right now it's uh, not meeting what the thermostat is set to, so we are gonna have to uh, check some things. Uh, first thing it usually is on these is a thermocouple. Uh, and after you uh, definitely shut off the power at the breaker, um, then you can start working on it. Um, if you look in here on the Burnham uh, model, you have a couple of these gas tubes. The gas comes down, runs across here, and it goes into all these tubes. Um, these just pick right up. After you take this off, actually. So let's get this off. Okay, that just slides up off of there. Two hooks holding that on, one there and one there. Now these will be able to lift up. And they have little slides in the back, as you can see, where they slide into and then they come back up and then they hook onto those uh, little nuts there. And I'm just gonna pop this one up and put this a little bit out of the way. That's gonna allow me to get where the thermocouple and sensor wire is hooked to. So whenever you look at this, you have your uh, ground wire here. Uh, this is where your uh, ignition source comes in. And this is your sensor wire right here. And what happens is uh, sometimes they just get dirty. So what you could do at this point is just kind of take some, um, I've used this um, scotch foam or whatever it's called, Mr. Clean Foam. And you can just buff these up and clean them. And you can put it back together. Um, and sometimes that'll that'll keep you going for a while. Uh, other times you might have to replace uh, your whole uh, thermocouple uh, thing there. So I'm going to show you how to at least just change out a sensor wire. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take off this right here. We're going to expose that. Just take a look in there, make sure it looks good. Should uh, appears to be pretty good in there. Um, and then you can use a uh, flat screwdriver, hook it on the bottom of this, and turn counterclockwise, and that'll loosen up your uh, sensor rod and we'll slide it out, and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so we went ahead and removed the other sensor wire. Um, we're going to put this sensing rod down in there, and now we're ready to put on our little nut here. Hard to do with one hand, bear with me. Tighten that up. Okay. Now at this point, we can go ahead and put on uh, the plug on the bottom of there. And then once we have the plug back on, um, just make sure this, if there's a shield on top of this, that you can, you can bend it a little bit, um, but just make sure it's bent to be on top of there. Okay, so at this point, we'll go ahead and we can start reassembling. Um, just be careful not to bend your gas line that comes in here uh, too much. Just kind of be nice and careful as you're putting this back in, which I will set the phone here. Let's see. Just kind of curl it in underneath. Find that slot at the end of the tube. And once you find that, you slide it in. Okay. So as you can see back there, that one is in. I just need to put this back on. And then I'll take this tube here. Look for the slot on it. It can be tricky to just take your time, put it in. All right, so everything there looks good. I'll go ahead and put this piece back on and we'll put a call for power and we'll see if we uh, get a light source here. Okay, we're at the breaker. Go ahead and kick that on. It'll come down. All right, so that's a good sign. Flame lit. And should start going. There we go. 
simple fix sensor wipe.